all of this, why? Because I'm a product of the movement. I'm a product of the Chicano movement of the late 60s and early 70s, and I've been able to focus my efforts within the healthcare arena to push forth those ideals that we had uh, of the Chicano movement of improving the living status of our population, our communities, uh, and fighting for justice, fighting for equality, fighting for those things that we think each one of us deserves just because we're human beings and we breathe air, we're on this planet, and we're in this together. I'm proud to say that um, uh, I can hold my head high because that's what's driven me, that's what's motivated me, and that is what has um, guided my thinking throughout my adult professional life. It's not something that I held on to as a young radical hothead and let go of when I got uncomfortable with it or got a certain level of education. I've never parted with my ideals and I've never parted with the need for me to look at myself as a public servant someone here to care for my community because I said early on in my life that that's what I was going to do. The Salute Family Health Center has allowed me to do that and to make contributions as it allows anyone that works with the health center system and movement to be able to do those things. I'm not naive enough to think that everyone that works with us does so because they're driven by the movement most of the people I work with weren't even born when I uh, uh, you know, undertook my training, much less when I was a young Chicano student radical taking over buildings in the early 70s. They weren't even born. So to them, the movement means something very different. That doesn't matter. If we can teach the ideals of justice, of equality, of being egalitarian, that's why we started the movement. That's what it was all about. And we must continue that, whether it is I, or now in this particular case, I handing off the torch to that next generation or generations, uh, and realizing that if each of us makes his or her contribution, we will be successful. We'll be successful as a people, we'll be successful as an individual, we'll be successful as a movement. I remember when I was at Valdez Elementary and I was running a school-based clinic for Denver Health there and within three months of being there a, a principal came into the clinic and she says, you know what, she said, I just left a third grade classroom and um, all the girls, most of the girls in the classroom said they wanted to be a pediatrician. She said, before you came along, uh, most of them would talk about being a secretary or uh, a teacher. Hopefully." you know, Dr. Lincona and my story and other people's stories will, will be able to help recruit young people into a health profession because it's been a really, really great experience. I am almost done with my pre-medicine program. Um, I have one more year left. What's next is to apply and get into medical school, which is another four years. And depending on what I specialize, it'll be a few years after that. Um, so if anyone were to come up to me and say, what do I expect? One day I want to go into the medical field. I want to go into the healthcare, you know? What do I need to know? Tell me. And I mean, I'm going to tell them what no one told me, you know, it's, which is you're going to have to work hard, harder than you have ever worked before. You're going to struggle so much and you're going to go through a bunch of challenges that you think that it's going to be the end of it and no I mean it's not there's going to be times where you're going to be discriminated against for not completely knowing English all the way I guess you could say or just because of the language barriers you know or because you're um, a Latina or Latino Mexican American or whatever and they're going to look at you like they did me. Like I've had more than I could count experiences where, oh, you're going to be a, oh, you're wanting to be a doctor? Why? Like, are you sure that's where you want to go? Or, you know, there's not a lot of women that's there, right? You know, there's not a lot of Hispanics or Latinos or Mexicans that go into that field where they doubt me. 
they doubt what I can do. And those are gonna, those are kind of big punches in the face, I guess, or into your pride and determination. But you just gotta get, take them as they come. And it's gonna be difficult, but you have to stay persistent, determined, you know, and be committed to what you're gonna do.